Hello, this is Samuel Guy in Hawaii with another reason to return to Wonderlands, Mythrank. A lot of people assume it's just the Wonderlands equivalent of Borderlands 3's Guardian rank, which is partially true. Both are where our experience goes after we reach max level. They're a way to earn perks to character traits and generic skills for all our characters over time. They're an incentive and reward for continued play beyond max level. Both use a system of diminishing returns when it comes to earning them. The next level always costs more experience points than the previous to earn, just like regular leveling up, although the effort is less than you might think. I'll talk about that later. Myth rank, however, differs from Guardian rank in a number of significant ways. For one thing, applying Guardian rank perks also utilizes a system of diminishing returns. Each time we put a Guardian rank point in a particular stat, we get less of a boost in that stat than the previous point. Eventually, the boost is so small that it takes several Guardian rank points to show an increase of 0.01%. That's the smallest increment of difference the game displays. And while this provides a natural cap on the practical maximum value of any one stat, it also reduces the value of Guardian rank points over time till they are virtually worthless. Myth rank points, by contrast, always raise any stat they're applied to by the same amount, regardless of current stat value no diminishing returns. For hero points, this means each myth rank point raises that stat a full point. For all other stats, it's anywhere from 1 to 5% per myth rank point, depending upon the stat. The increase is always the same, and we always know what it is, and they add up pretty quickly. Now, in order to invest points in a given stat, we must first unlock the stat before it along this branching structure as they become available. And we spend points one at a time in each of these four trees on a rotating basis. The game does not allow us to overload any one tree. To unlock all 24 stats, however, only costs 20 points total. And once a stat is unlocked, we can put as many points as we want in it up to its maximum. 20 of the 24 stats max out at anywhere from 10 to 25 points. These four stats, however, gun damage, melee damage, spell damage, and ability damage, the four damage types that every single class in the game utilizes, have no cap. And this is where myth rank becomes really powerful. Because these stats have no cap, even if we earn and parcel out enough myth rank points, these boosts can match or outstrip boosts provided by specific skills and or by the use of chaos gear. It can make our max level characters crazy powerful and make high chaos level play easier and easier as time goes by. Since each point raises the uncapped stat boost by one percentage point, this means that if we only spend enough points to unlock all stats in each tree, 20 points like I just mentioned, it only takes 120 total myth rank points to get plus 25% boost to all uncapped four. Okay, plus 50% after spending 220 plus 75% after spending 320 points. Okay. Now some players may look at this and think, wow, that's a lot of myth rank points. It's gonna take me forever to earn enough points to make a difference because it takes longer the higher we go up in rank and or because we've already spent a bunch of points on all the other stats by concentrating on the uncapped four. Yes and no. First off, even though the other 20 stats are capped, most are good useful boosts, okay? Every little bit helps. Even things like gun hunting, which I've never fully understood, or crit chance, which does not scale well most of the time. And because everything goes up steadily, no diminishing returns, we accumulate useful levels of boost quickly. 25 points doubles our loot luck. Hero point boosts are all good, some more than others, depending on your build, dark magic, swing speed, magazine size, whatever. Investing in boosts other than the uncapped four is helpful. Second though, regardless of myth rank level, earning more takes a lot less time than one might think, okay? Once any character reaches max level 40, any experience gain goes toward leveling up myth rank. Okay, and yes, it costs more XP to go up each success of myth rank level. This is the myth rank XP formula. Don't panic, there will not be a quiz. I've done the math so you don't have to. This table shows the total XP required for different myth rank levels. That's total XP earned by all max level characters combined. Since myth rank is shared and XP earned by all max level characters contributes to myth rank leveling up. If we're at myth rank 100, we have earned in total a little over 4 point million XP to get there. Okay. The next column shows the difference between one level and the next, meaning this is the actual XP required to go from this level up to this next level. Okay. First couple levels, it's in the 18K-ish range. In the 30s, it's 38, 39K, level 100, 85, 86, 87 k going up. Approaching 350, which is where I was recently, 300k plus, yes, that's a lot, but look at this column. 
This shows the difference between each increase in this column as a percentage of the previous level. Okay. Down here it's going up 3% per level. In here it's down to about 1.7%. Here it's just under a percentage point. And way up here around mid rank 350, it's a third of a percentage point and going down. The difference goes down as we go up. And it eventually gets to the point where the cost to go up a level is pretty much the same as the previous. It's a system of diminishing returns that actually helps us. Additionally, as long as we play our max level characters on as high a chaos level as is comfortable, and why wouldn't we? That's how we get higher level gear. That's the point. We earn increased XP. It says it right there on the chaos level screen. Okay. Those two things, decreasing rate of XP increase to level up and increased XP earned with increasing chaos level somewhat balance each other out. They combine to make earning myth rank points even at higher chaos levels, higher myth rank levels rather, a steady and reasonably frequent occurrence. If we just play the game, it becomes almost second nature. It happens automatically. I spent just over 500 hours of play over the first six months of release before stopping with a myth rank of 280. Since starting up again about a month ago, I'm now over 600 hours and I'm myth rank of over 350. And as much of that recent playtime was spent leveling up characters to 40, as with playing max level 40 ones. And only max level ones can earn XP towards myth rank. So again, as long as we spend time playing max level characters at the highest level of characters we, we find comfortable, we will earn myth rank points at a fairly steady rate. We might not even realize it's happening until we check. Okay. I recently did a test with a chaos level 45 character, my highest level character at the time, formula chance for a peg like weapon for another character. I earned enough XP to go from myth rank 326 to 327 in six runs. That's six runs killing the chance and an occasional add now and then, and that's it. Maybe what, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes a lot at, at most, okay? Running chaos chambers and mirrors is also a really good way to rack up myth rank points. Bottom line, Wonderlands rewards us the more we play it, and myth rank bonuses are a big, big part of that. For some players, in fact, it's potentially too good. I know several long-term Wonderlands players, players with myth ranks of 500 or above, that have chosen to self-cap their myth rank boosts, meaning that while they have maxed out all the cap stats, they've stopped putting points in the four uncapped ones, stopped spending myth rank points. They have a lot of unspent points just sitting around. Why? Because for them, higher boosts would make the game too easy. CatQB91 has capped her boost at 75% each. David F. and Steele capped himself at 25%, I believe. They want to maintain a certain level of challenge. Okay. Eternal Dragon, on the other hand, does not self-cap. His myth rank last I checked is over 900, and he tells you this in all his build videos. Point here is that while the game can and does get easier the longer we play it, in part due to myth rank boosts, we actually have a choice. We get to decide how hard or how easy. Spend all our myth rank points or only spend some or none. Okay. The only downside to myth rank is that we can't turn it off and we can't respect it. And realistically, respecting doesn't really matter above 500, 600 myth rank level. And being able to turn it off and on would mainly serve to make testing and build comparisons and potential community competitions easier. Still, that would be nice to see. In summary though, the myth rank system not only rewards us over the long run to a degree previous systems did not, it lets us choose how much. It's yet another reason to come back to One Lens. If you like this content and want to see more, you know the drill, like, comment, subscribe. As always, stay safe and thanks for watching.